Hope you're going on your first ever train. Do you want to walk down Here to the it comes. I haven't even said where we're going or anything. So I've got two events to go to, one tonight and one tomorrow. Um, one is for St John Ambulance and I'm going with Channel Mum. They've very kindly invited me because I worked on their first aid videos with them, um, which is like a first aid course that's over on their <laughs> which is over on their channel. So it's really good for um, learning child first aid and just first aid in general. Um, so they've invited me to that, and it's like um, a black tie event. So we're going to go and stay over because I have another event in the morning with Channel Mum as well, um, which is a benefit event which I'm very excited about because Benefit's one of my favourite makeup brands ever. So yeah, that's what's happening over the next couple of days. The boys are obviously coming with me because I'm still feeding Elliot, so I can't be away from him for that long, even though I am expressing so that I can, we can feed him whilst I'm at the events, but he doesn't always like that. He doesn't always take the bottle, so I couldn't be away from him for like 24 hours, like I couldn't risk that. They're coming with me and Archie is um, his nan and granddad are staying at ours, so he's really excited about that. And hopefully it's going to be a really nice evening and day tomorrow. So we were doing well, we were on the train ready to go, um, and we just left about five minutes ago, and my nan and granddad rang to say that we left his milk at home in the fridge. After all that, <laughs> going through absolutely everything that we needed, the one most single most important thing we've left at home so i've just been crying we got off at the next stop and bless him my granddad's gonna come and give us the um the bottles because that's the only thing we could think of to do and then we're gonna get on the train and we're gonna be really not late but i won't have much time to get ready but obviously he needs his milk there's nothing i can do about that and then just top it all off as we were getting off the train the door slammed on me and spilt the drink all up me that I had in my hands. Are you impressed that I didn't laugh at you at that? Oh, if you'd have laughed at me, oh, I would have no. actually no, killed you. Normally I laugh at things like that, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, you would have killed me, that's why I tried holding it in. It was like a little bit, but I just couldn't. We've got his milk, so... Crisis is averted, and I can stop being a loser and stop crying now. And put yeah, it in the suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> Just the idea when the door slammed on you. <laughs> Have a little, little look around, it's really, really nice here. Oh, we've got a little cot for Elliot, and then this is the bed. That's really nice, actually. Oh, we did get a good view, kind of. We're up really high. If you like trains, <laughs> if you like trains. Oh, I like these lamps with the cool little filaments. So, this is the bathroom. This looks really cool. I really want one of these mirrors. So nice. Oh, the massive shower. That's a nice mirror, isn't it? Oh my god, look at this. That's a Ricky size shower. Well, not quite, look. <laughs> you still can't get in it and it's huge. Oh look, we even get a deluxe shower bonnet. Bonnet. <laughs> bonnet to do. Bonnet to do. Isn't that what um Del Boy used to say? Yeah, bonnet to do. You can tell that now my parents we don't get out very much, we get excited by the little things. You didn't even know how to use the lift. What's this all about? That's the lock. It's a massive lock. Hey, I thought that you just pulled that out. That is a bit odd, to be fair. This is for you, Mum. I know this is your favourite thing about hotels. We've got conditioner, shampoo by Peter Thomas Roth, body cleanser, and a body lotion and a facial bar. Someone's waking up, someone's waking up. Hello. Hello, mister. You're in a bit of a daze at the moment, aren't you? Looking at daddy. 
Yeah, which no. is just ordering our breakfast. For yeah, right. Me. So, do you want orange juice, tomato juice, apple juice, cranberry juice, pineapple, or grapefruit? Yes. You kind of have all. <laughs> What should I do? Two, two apple. Oh, I might have a, I'm going to have a pineapple. What are you going to have? Orange. Or oh, no, wait. Apple. Oh, I you mark that then. <laughs> Ready? Oh, he wants to sit up. He wants to sit up. Does he want to stand up? Back down. Bend. That's it. <laughs> Oh my god, you know what I've just realised? I haven't even done my hair. Okay, I'm going to be very late. So I'm all ready to go. And the lighting over by the full length mirror is really yellow, but I will try my best to show you the dress. I'm so sad that Rick can't come with me. Thank you so much for looking after Elliot, because I feel really bad. I will be all right. So I'm all ready. This is the best lighting I've got. It's really yellow, so I'm sorry about that. But I just wanted to show you my outfit. So this is the dress. It's by um, AX Paris, and it was only 35 pounds which I was quite pleased with, but um, I really like it. It's really nice, it does the job. Um, and it's got a nice little side slit as well. And then I've got this bag, which I think was from Accessorize. It's, I've had it for quite a long time now. Um, it's just really pretty. It's got all metallics in it, so it goes with gold, silver, rose gold, everything. And then just these little strappy, they're sort of mid between gold and silver um, shoes. I don't even remember where they're from maybe new look but yeah I think I'm just going to wear my hair to the side just obviously curled it all and brushed it all through and that's me ready to go I think my love is deeper with every day you're a keeper, baby, worth the wait You got the sparkle in your eyes Making all the other guys stop and stare But you'll be moving on Baby, every time we touch Makes my heart beat on the rush Can't believe that I'm the lucky one You make me feel like a king Just walking back to my room Anyone who hears me will think I'm crazy for myself <laughs> Good night. It was so lovely to just be out with the, the girls and I get to see them all again tomorrow and even more of them. So that was really nice. And I think this is my room. Good morning everyone. Say good morning Elliot. Uh. It is 7.49 on Friday morning. And I've been up a few times in the night with this little guy. And he likes to start thrashing around about five o'clock because he was naughty and he was in our bed from that time. Um, but he doesn't really go back to sleep after that. So he's been thrashing around and grunting. So, yeah. And that's just me. <laughs> Last night was so much fun. I ended up having a little dance with Kerry and then all the ladies left and went home and I came back up here to the room. So it was so nice not having to worry about jumping on the train. It's a bit of a luxury but um, we don't get to do things like this very often so I'm glad we did. Especially having him because I fed him when I got back and then at half past two and he's been awake since half past five so even though we're still laying here being lazy he's been fed and changed and um... I'm pretty tired still and we're just being super duper lazy and having our breakfast in our room and then getting ready aren't we oranges a toast my breakfast kate's breakfast jesus look at all them jams he's all dressed i can't believe this is six to nine months and it's like it's quite tight like there's not that much more room in it such a big little guy, a big little guy. 
and he's trying this new thing since we've been here. I don't know if he's going to do it, but he just wants to sit up, so he's just pushing himself up upright. Hello. That's it. Look. He's just trying to sit up all the time. I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing today. So this is one of my favourite tops, actually. I think I got it last year, but it's from Georgia Asda, so I was quite pleased with that little bargain. I love the polka dots. And then I've got my trusty Primark jeans on. You know when you just find a pair of jeans and they're like the perfect jeans for you? Like, I just love these ones. I know they're like really ripped, but I think they're pretty cool. And then my shoes are also from Primark. So I've got a bargainous outfit on today, but I must say I'm quite enjoying it. And my bag is gonna be, my bag is gonna be my new one that I showed in my Shein haul. Oh, that's gotta go in there. And that's my little outfit. Oh, and I'm wearing a little choker um, from H&M and earrings from, can't tell you yet, <laughs> but <laughs> you probably guessed already anyway. London as you probably gathered I had a lovely couple well lovely evening and day I was gonna say a couple of days but it's been about 24 hours but anyway it was really really nice and um, got to do some lovely things saw all the girls at benefit and got my eyebrows done so I'm really pleased about that as well I feel so much better we've got our boy home from nursery Yay! Yay! what you get tell everybody what we're going to get because you've been such a good boy where are we going? Are we going to get a rabbit? No, we're going to get a pen watch. A pen watch? <gasps> Can we get the pen watch? You excited? I might want some pen pictures. <laughs> we promised Archie that we would get him a present. Um, and we're still to our promise. Time. We're gonna been good. pop to the toy shop and he's been after a Ben 10 watch for ages so we're gonna go and have a little look yeah, at that. To, to be fair it is one thing that he has been asking for forever. Yep and we need to go and buy one of his friends a birthday present for a party he's going to and buy my little cousin Rosie a little present because she's just been born um and then when do i get a, oh i got fifa <laughs> you got fifa you got a present mate oh yeah you got a present. and you tried hiding it from me no, I didn't. And you couldn't get away with it because you laughed. Because I'm a, bad, a very bad liar, aren't I? I did wonder why I could hear scampering feet going through a living room. I was like, I haven't what put is it in the living room, I put it under the coats in the hallway. Oh. What a busy day. I'm absolutely knackered and I've still got to make dinner. Archie is in bed, Kate is just putting Elliot to sleep. And tonight for dinner, we've either got teriyaki beef. Teriyaki beef, which looks quite nice, and it's not spicy, or a pork fillet, and that does look nice. That's sauce, oh my god. Now, I don't know what to choose. I think I'm going to go for the pork fillet. We've had such a busy couple of days with having to go up to London and Kate going to her events. Elliot was such a good boy, bless him for me. I honestly couldn't have wished for him to be any better behaved. I don't actually think he cried once either whilst we was out today. God, where am I going with this? Let's go back in the drawer. That's not the one I'm cooking. Um, and then it doesn't stop tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to see our new baby cousin called Rosie. Then Archie's got a birthday party, his first one from his nursery. And on Sunday we've got more friends coming around for lunch. So it should be a really nice weekend. Suddenly it's half past nine at night and I realise I haven't vlogged since we got home. <laughs> you know when just something happens, one thing after another after another, we got home and then we took Archie to the toy shop to get him his Ben 10 watch and then when we got back the BT man was here and it got to bed like the kids bedtime, put them to bed, did some emails and before I know it I just thought I haven't even vlogged at all so I'm really sorry I can put this vlog all together I'm not really sure how it's going to end up it's been a bit sporadic but I'm going to try and put something together for you anyway um, and hopefully I can get a bit more get back into vlogging a little bit more 
um, over the next few weeks um, because I realised we haven't been doing it as much, we've been focusing on other videos and stuff. But yeah, hopefully I can get back on track. Um, it's just weird when you've not done it for a little while. Um, but I'm going to say goodnight for tonight and I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Thanks.